Hello everybody, welcome to the second challenge that I'm setting up today. I'm out here with Norman. Hopefully you can see him there. Uh, we're going to talk about jumping today. It's a really simple concept that all dogs generally enjoy if they're in good fit health. I would put a caveat, if you know your dog has got any problems with his elbows or hips, don't jump your dog, it just isn't going to help them at all for their well-being. But most dogs are fit and healthy and really enjoy jumping. It's actually quite a relaxing thing for them to do. It doesn't take a massive amount of brain power, but you do have to teach them to some, at some degree how to jump an obstacle. So jumping is very natural, but actually to jump an obstacle isn't natural because we uh, actually teach them. So here we are today. I've just set up a really simple fence, which is what we call a soft fence. So if you can see behind me, there is a rabbit fence, which is made of nylon. And this is what I tend to use to teach my youngsters, or something like a very light uh, wire fence. To start off with, I wouldn't be jumping something quite as big as this when they're puppies because of soft bones etc and trying to get really good development of their joints we would start with something really low so perhaps something just sort of shin height when they're about six months of age um, and then we'd progress the height of the jump as their confidence grows but one thing we don't do is put a top rail on any of our fences because that's what often encourages dogs to what we call bank so they jump onto the rail then jump off but when they're coming to a wire fence, there's nothing for them to purchase on. So we try not to teach them to try and put their feet down on the fence, but just to jump over it cleanly. So to start teaching a dog to jump, all we're going to do is just walk dog to heel and just walk over the fence with our dog. I'm going to use this lower section here. So you can see it's very low and it's soft. So if Norman happened to catch it on his legs or his tummy, it's not going to hurt him at all. So he wouldn't be put off jumping, he wouldn't be frightened. Okay, so we're just going to have Norman here. We're just going to walk up to the fence. As I get over, I'm going to say the word over, over. And that's just to teach the dog to say, I want him to actually physically jump the fence. I do teach my dogs over. The reason being, sometimes there might be a retrieve actually near a fence, but I don't want them to jump it. It might be this side, the side that I'm on of the fence. Therefore, I don't want them to just naturally always jump the fence when they see a fence, unless they can actually see a dummy or see a bird the other side. But ideally, I'd like them to jump on the word over. So we're just going to do that again. And then we're going to walk up. And I'm going to stand over the fence. So I'm astride the fence. And then I'm just going to say, Norman, over. As you can see, very simple. So he understands that really well. What I'm going to do now is I'm switch over to show you Norman and he's going to just do a little retrieve over a fence. So what I've got out here, just see, hopefully, is one of my white target dummies which I've just thrown over. So for this purpose I'm just going to step away so you can see Norman and I'm just going to ask him to get it over. Over! As you can see, jump the fence no problem. And there we go, straight back. Okay, so we have now come out to another part of the farm here and I have rigged up a fairly floppy piece of chicken wire. Um, it's just got a white bungee cord running through the top just to give it a bit of stability. Also, Norman can see it as a line because in trouble with wire fences, sometimes they can look a little bit invisible to a dog. Once they know they're there, they're fine but sometimes the dog will just bounce into them. Wouldn't do any harm because it's a really soft fence. It's literally just tied up with some string because we're just improvising for this demonstration. And as you can see, I've got a white target dummy out there. So it's a bigger fence, but Norman's quite confident with jumping as you've seen. Um, so what I'm going to do is just let him take the retrieve. So we're just going to back up a bit. So I'm just going to turn around going to keep the camera on the fence. Over. You can see he's pretty confident with his jumping. There we 
we go. Okay, so this is going to be your challenge for this week. Once we know our dogs are happy jumping and they're confident, if you have a dog that's able to do so, like I said earlier about puppies or dogs that potentially have problems with their joints, don't jump them. Um, but with dogs that are fit and healthy, like Norman, then do do some jumping with them because they really enjoy it and they get a lot out of it. We do have times where we have to retrieve birds over fences because either it's a long way round or the, uh, we can't get round to get to the bird. Um, so it's efficient for a dog to be able to jump a fence. One caveat is no barbed wire, please. Don't put your dog over a barbed wire fence. It's just not worth retrieving a bird for the sake of having an accident. Right, so what I'm gonna do with this exercise is I'm just gonna see if Norman understands the word over. So he's been over the fence a few times. He knows there's a dummy there. So all your challenge is going to be is to do just the same with Norman. I've turned him away from the fence. So he's looking at me. I'm going to give him a stop whistle and an over command to see if he understands what the word over means. Over. Yeah, I think he understands the word. But it's something that I would practice from time to time just to make sure it stays trained so he doesn't forget. Dead. Good luck. So that's your challenge. You've got a week again, so today is Monday. So you've got until next Monday to get your challenge videos. It's probably easier, I have to say, if you get somebody else to video for you. Me trying to do this on my own today has been a challenge. As you can see, Norman also thinks it's rather strange. So post your video on the comment section on the next challenge, and we'll look forward to seeing them. Take care. Bye.